most of us do daily parayanam in our daily lives in praise of lord vishnu sahasra namam rudram chamakam and all this it is said that uh, if recited in a proper swara and intonation it amounts to pranayam see as i already said the sanskrit language the mantras have certain impact upon you if it is done with absolute integrity and understanding yes it creates a certain amount of space a certain amount of energy in you it would be improper to call it pranayam because pranayam as a process goes much deeper than chanting of the mantras mantras have very beneficial impact upon you no doubt about that when they say pranayam they may be saying because in the brahmin culture pranayam means just nadi shuddhi yes if you're just calling nadi shuddhi as pranayam maybe that much impact may happen because of mantra chanting or doing this parayanam but if you're thinking that this is a prayer which is going to reach god and things are going to happen to you it's a wrong understanding prayer is not something that you do it is something that you become prayer is a quality prayer is not an act that you do there's a wonderful story once one of the baptist missionaries from united states went to a certain remote part of siberia there when he went to the town because he wants to convert people into his great religion everybody else is a pagan in his understanding there he found the people were all talking about three saints who were living on a little island in a huge lake in siberia so he wanted to see who the saints are took a boat and a boatman and went there across the lake reached there then he found these people were utterly uneducated illiterate shepherds he went and saw these people they looked filthy and somehow these three guys just living on an island they look wild men then he asked them okay what is this and what is the prayer that you do so first one said every day i pray that uh, all the sheep they must all be well and they must come back home none of the sheep should be lost in the cold this is the prayer i do this ignorant fool he thinks it's prayer then he asked the second man he said about the sheep's health and this and that the third man said about the lice in his hair and the sheep's hair how he doesn't want the sheep not to suffer with the lice so he doesn't he want all the lice to come out but he doesn't want the lice to die so he wants the lice to go somewhere else and live well something is prayer like this in local languages so the baptist thought this is stupid these people are being considered as saints i will do one thing right now i will baptize you and convert you into baptism and you learn this prayer and he taught them one elaborate prayer these are very literate people it took 3 4 days to teach them this prayer after that very satisfied with the conversion the baptist priest was sailing back then the three men came running across the water half way down the way and they said what was the fourth line we don't remember he saw these people running on water and coming then he said no no i can't teach you any prayer you go back you do your own prayer it seems to be working better than mine so it is not the sanskrit language it's not the latin or greek it's just that you become prayerful to become prayerful means you should not be big becoming prayerful means in india we call this upasana upa asana means the word is very beautiful upa means sub asana means seat that is in your life you don't occupy the main seat you occupy the side seat you have occupied a minor seat in your own life somebody else something else has occupied the main seat in your life then you are in upasana it is not the question of greek latin or sanskrit it is just that you have made yourself very small something else has become big whether this something else 
he is God or guru or husband or wife or child or something, it doesn't matter. You can become prayerful. So prayer is a quality. So what you're talking about mantra is a science. Science must be handled as science properly, must be used that way. There are certain mantras which need your emotion. There are certain mantras with emotion it will mess up. You have to do it like science properly. It is like chemistry. You got to do it properly like that, only then it works. But these days most people don't have such understanding and they're mixing up everything and you don't find any significant difference in the people who are doing it simply because they don't have the necessary vibrance in them, they don't have the necessary understanding and awareness in them. Any repetition as I already said without the necessary awareness will bring only dullness. So you will find unfortunately, this cannot be generalized again, unfortunately with lots of people, people who believe they are doing prayers, they have become dull, please see this, because of repetition. Repeating without the necessary awareness dulls the mind. You will see, there are all kinds of idiots in the world, but the religious idiots take the cake simply because somehow you become very stupid in the process of becoming religious. Religion means it's the highest intelligence. Religion means it's the intelligence of… you have the intelligence to go beyond all limitations. That's what it means. But today you will find most of the people who call themselves religious are the most stupid people. They do the most idiotic things in the world. This has happened simply because of repetition. Prayer has become a repetition. Prayer has not become a quality.